guys oh my god let's freaking talk about the footage y'all just saw so first of all i'm actually headed somewhere else right now i'm actually filming a bonus piece of content for the channel which you guys might have already seen by now but anyways beside that i see this thrift store i've never seen before as i'm headed this way and i pull over and there's somebody sitting outside and i'm like hey is this place open because i don't know i'm just like kind of shocked at this point so i ask them if they're open and they're like yeah I get in there, I talk to the owner. It turns out they've only been open for a few months. So this is like a pretty new thrift store. And guys, oh my God, as y'all saw, we found some crazy freaking stuff. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. I was over there and I asked them, I was like, hey, how much are the DVDs and the games? And the lady goes, a dollar. And I know some of y'all are like, you didn't film that part, it doesn't count, you're faking it. But y'all can believe whatever you want. Here is the receipt of what we spent six dollars and what six dollars and 45 cents so a dollar a freaking game or a dollar a dvd guys let's go over everything we picked up we got a copy of wii sports there was wii sports resort in there as well but the game was missing so this one actually does have the game it does have the manual if y'all don't know by now we find these things like once a week or so it seems like here on this channel if you already have this in your game collection or if you don't care to have this in your collection and you pick it up for like a buck or two, these pretty much always sell on eBay overnight for like 20 to 25 bucks. So this is like a no brainer. This right here is gonna pay for everything. And then there's gonna be a little left over if we wanna go to Taco Bell, you know what I'm saying? So that's amazing right there. Guys, we got Pac-Man World 2 for the Xbox. Um, I'm not super into collecting Xbox games, although if I was, I would definitely keep this because the Pac-Man games are usually a lot of fun. Um, at least the Wii U game that I played. That's actually the only Pac-Man world style game that I've played so far and it was a lot of fun, but this looks like it'd be a lot of fun too. So a dollar each for everything you guys are seeing. Yo, oh my God. We got the legend. 50 freaking cent, y'all. Bulletproof. I've never played this game, but I would imagine it's probably a fun game. Somebody drop a comment below and let me know if I'm wrong. But just looking at like the little images on the back and it's 50 cent, come on now, it's gotta be decent. Guys, next up, some more Xbox stuff. We got Need for Speed Underground 2. And we got Burnout 3 Takedown. So guys, the freaking prize possession of this lot. I haven't even looked up the value yet. Honestly, this could be like a $20 game right now, and I'm still this excited. I feel like it's more, though. I feel like it's going to be worth more. Guys, I had to freaking double take when I saw this. It's sitting there like this. I don't ever see NES games in the box except that one yard sale video, which you guys have heard me talk about a thousand times by now. That episode, we, we scored some games in the box. But this type of stuff is pretty much unheard of, and y'all know that. We find this on the channel we find this on the channel we do not find this especially look at this this is like i don't want to say minty but it definitely has like the old plastic still on it it has the hang tab like y'all i don't know anything about this game it's called iron sword wizards and warriors 2 but guys just look at it oh man i don't want to i don't want to rip this it's an oh my god it's in there, y'all. It is freaking in there. It looks like the manual's in there, too. This thing looks like it's never been played. All right, guys. Hopefully... Oh, man, I don't even know what I'm saying, right? Hopefully, where was I going with that sentence? I don't know, y'all. I'm freaking excited because now I have another thrift store to go to. I'm sweating, y'all can tell. I have to turn the AC off when I film because... Because then all you hear is in the background. Anyways, guys, this is a great start to this episode let's keep going what's good everyone we are chilling at the house and we just got some mail in so i wanted to show you guys what we just got i want to give a huge shout out to the freaking homie since game hunting thank you so much he posted about this on instagram first of all let me go ahead and open it up show y'all what game it is but as you guys know walmart does these clearance games now every now and then where it's insane, but some games end up being three cents. 
I've been able to score some in the past, but I was not able to score this one. He told me he had an extra copy and he hooked it up. The game is called Cat Quest. This actually comes with one and two. As you guys can see, it was originally $29.88. He got it for three freaking cents. Oh man, so he hooked me up with this. Once again, shout outs to you, Cincy Game Hunting. Thank you so much. Y'all make sure to go check out his channel. He does a lot of really awesome game hunting content. Um, I think he drops like a new episode every week too. And it's always a lot of fun. Um, I've learned some few, uh, or excuse me, I've learned a few things over there. So definitely go check it out. Guys, I am so excited <laughs> to have this for the collection. Y'all have no idea. Basically, Cat Quest is an RPG, but it's like... I don't know how to explain it's just like a super like <laughs> like cute i guess is really the only word i have to describe this and we've been throwing that word around a lot here on this channel but guys if something is cute it's freaking cute look at this it's called the possum pack yeah so there's a lot of like really really bad like cat puns in this game and i've only played the demo i remember playing the demo i think it was on ps4 actually and i played the demo and i was like i need this freaking game but i've never been able to find it cheap y'all know here on this channel we don't like to spend more than a few dollars on the game so fortunately we were able to get it from the homie who paid three cents for this freaking game which is unbelievable but guys that's it i just wanted to show y'all guys <laughs> i just wanted to show y'all this real quick and how freaking excited i am to put the possum pack nintendo switch collection Thanks again, homie. I appreciate it. Let's keep going. All right, guys, a quick stop in at the Salvation Army. Let's go see what they got. all right guys sometimes you go to the salvation army and you find a bunch of beanie babies which mm, usually don't have value or you find a hidden gem for the nintendo wii wii fit baby <laughs> well, let's keep going what is good everyone i know y'all just saw that salvation army footage where we didn't find anything but i get back home from my break and my girlfriend shows up <laughs> and she's like i have a surprise for you so i literally like closed my eyes we should have filmed that part actually now i'm thinking about it but anyways so i hold my hands out and there's two games which i didn't know i was like doing this and i was like are they dvds are they games and then i look at them and i'm like yeah and then i got really excited so i, found them. I actually have been wanting mortal kombat 11 for the collection so that's really sick and we have call of duty black ops 3 she did come across these, what did you say, thrifting, I think? Yeah. Yeah, so that's really sick. This one's going to the collection, and then this one is going to flip, and then I'm just going to give you the money that we make off this because you found this stuff anyway. Oh, so. you're so sweet. Hey. Anyways, guys, we added a game to the collection, which is cool because y'all saw literally nothing cool at the Salvation Army that we just went to, but sometimes you get home and you get a surprise game. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys. <laughs> what was that, boing? Let's keep going. We've been attacking with rain. We thought we were coming last night. We had to pack this all up and then haul it back out this morning. So Oh, you know what? I bet you're talking about that. Are you talking about the sign that says the eggs on? Yeah. That was been up all week. Okay. It was the one that was going Yeah, they had a state sale down there. Well, do you ever come out here to the beach? 
All right, guys, let's talk about what we just saw. First of all, it is Saturday right now while I'm filming, and I was not planning on going to yard sales today, which probably seems like a shocker. I love going to yard sales every single Saturday. Um, but today I've actually been pretty busy. I've been catching up on some like eBay stuff and just like testing, cleaning games, just things like that. Uh, but anyways, I had to leave the house, had to make a couple of errands. And I, y'all know, I see a garage sale sign. I got to pull in. So I come to this sale. I see a controller off the bat. That's like a good sign. They probably have games. I ask them. Actually, I don't think I filmed the controller part. Um, she's like, yeah, we have some games. They've already been picked through though. And I was like, so I get over there and I think she said they were like five bucks a piece. Honestly, there was nothing there worthy of like, if I wanted to get any of those games to flip and y'all know, I'm not really crazy about collecting for Xbox. So that fusion frenzy game actually had a little bit of value, but it wasn't like if I was going to get it for a collection, then yes, it would have been perfect. But looking at some stuff to try to flip to get like Nintendo and PlayStation games, it really wasn't worth it. So I didn't end up picking any of those games, but I wanted to show you guys the footage. However, this is why I'm even like talking about any of this because this is the, the cool part, but kind of cool, kind of also not because we didn't get it, but she was like, oh, I had this GameCube in the box with a stack of games. She said she had them here yesterday, though, and that's a thing. A lot of people do yard sales on Fridays, which kind of sucks for me because I have to be at work and I don't have time to go to a yard sale on Friday. Uh, but she she was like, I had a GameCube. It was like amazing condition in the box. She said she had a stack of games and I was just like, oh, man. She's like, yeah, that thing went by fast. And I was like, I bet it did. But that's just how it goes, guys. No hate. That's literally part of the game. Anyways, let's keep going. Pulling up to the local Goodwill. Let's go see what they got. All right, guys, this Goodwill, for the most part, hardly ever has video games. It looks like somebody just dropped off their PS3 collection, so that was actually really cool. Uh, we're just going to go over everything we picked up. We picked this drag racing game up, Countdown to the Championship. It is sealed, and that's why I picked this up. Uh, this in brand new condition was selling for like 15 16 bucks. I figured for $3, why not? If it ends up not selling, I'm sure somebody out here wants a sealed game maybe i don't know but three bucks whatever um we have pro bass fishing now these games were 4.99 they're kind of steep here at goodwill they should be like two or three bucks but the times are changing my friends flip this one and flip this one hopefully and then those games will technically pay for these games i'm going to show you um, we got fear 
This is the first one. Once again, it was $4.99, which is not a bad price for this game. I think this is like worth around 15 bucks. Um, and then we have Fear 2. So I feel like these games after a long, like maybe not right now, but after a while, I feel like these games would probably start going up in value. But that usually just depends on how many were made. This kind of seems like a game that they probably made a lot of, so maybe they won't go that much up in value, but I have heard they're pretty sick. Um, so I'm definitely going to be holding on to these, and then we're going to flip these to pay for these, and that's how we do it here on this channel. Guys, we spent about 19 bucks, so we should be able to cover all that, and then maybe even a little bit of profit, and then we get two free games, essentially. So not too bad for a Goodwill that hardly ever has freaking games, so let's keep going what is good everyone guys i got some packages in the mail and i thought we'd open them up together so as you guys have heard me say here on this channel every now and then if i see like a really really good sale through gamestop i take advantage of it if i can and i buy a few games so this deal in particular was five games and i think it was sorry i'm looking at how much i spent it was five games for 50 bucks plus tax. So it was like $53.50. So I'm gonna open them up and show you guys what I got. Um, really, there's one game in here that I'm for sure adding to the collection. Other stuff, not sure yet. We might be flipping some of it to kind of pay for the game. So we're gonna see if we at least, hopefully, freaking hopefully get, um, Wow, I can't talk. I need some scissors. Hopefully we get cases and manuals. Y'all know, when you order from GameStop, uh, you get those pre-owned cases that are so ugly. But guys, let's check it out. Let's see. All right, I'm going to let y'all see it first. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, okay. We got it. So this was one of the deals they had, guys. Witcher 2 on Xbox 360, we actually did get it with the case, which is awesome. And yes, let's go. It does come. Okay, cool. This actually does come. Well, first of all, I got this crack case, but that's okay. Um, it comes with the game disc. And we got kind of lucky because I wasn't sure if it was going to come with this or not, but we got the bonus disc too. So I'm gonna throw the value of this up on the screen. Oh, and we got the map. This one for 10 bucks is actually a pretty good deal. I think last time I checked, this was worth like 20, 25. So although I do wanna play this game, y'all know we're not really collecting for the 360. We'll sell this off and pretty much make like half of our money back. So y'all gotta keep an eye out for some of these GameStop sales every now and then you get lucky but it's a gamble because you're not always guaranteed to get the manual and the case so keep that in mind and gamble at your own risk all right guys let's see what's in here <laughs> should i show y'all or should i look first all right i'll show y'all oh yes okay so this is sick not necessarily like super stoked on this game i haven't heard i don't know okay let me let me rephrase that I don't know if this game is good or not, but y'all know we're collecting for the Wii U. And if I get a chance to order some games where this ends up being free when we sell off a couple, then yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we got Sonic Boom, Rise of the Lyric. Yes, and it is complete. So that is freaking amazing. The disc is really nice, so that's good too. All right guys, I'm super stoked about this because this was the main reason I even did like this sale. So I'm already happy. Now, hopefully, whoo, hopefully we get lucky with this next one. This one's feeling kind of light, y'all. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What is it, what is it, what is it? Oh yeah, double whammy. So this one feels like the manual might be missing. Oh, no. It is complete. So I bought two of these. I wanted to make sure I was gonna get at least one copy with the case and the manual. And I was like, I'm gonna buy two just in case. They were 10 bucks a piece. 
And my plan was if I got this lucky, then yeah, we'll flip one and cover the cost. And like, you know, let's say it was just the disc. Well, we'd still sell it off. It wouldn't be worth as much, but guys, we've uh, we've had some pretty good success over here with this little GameStop deal. Now there is one thing I'm kind of worried about. So I ordered five games in total and for some reason, I only have four. I checked tracking. It says that all of them have arrived. That's not the case, unless two of them are in here. So I don't know. If not, either GameStop lied to me, or maybe there's a chance it got stolen from the mailbox, which that would suck. So let's hope that's not the case. But See, it feels like there's just one game in here. So I'm already kind of like, uh-oh. Then happen. Oh no, there's something else in there. Nice. Okay, so as you guys can tell, wait a second. Why is there two? Huh? So I ordered The Witcher 2, but I got two cover arts for it. Huh. We got Enhanced Edition and we have Enhanced Edition. I don't know what I ordered, guys. All right, let's see what's in here. Ah, uh, okay, so this one is just. I don't know. It's got game disc. Oh, you guys, sorry, you guys can't see it. Man, these cases are like super broken, but they're pre-owned, so that's what happens. And we have game disc two. So, I mean, still though, not bad because we got an actual case and we got both discs, so. I'm gonna have to look and see what the difference is between this one and the other one. But I'm kind of confused now. <laughs> if I figure it out, I'll throw up on the screen. This one definitely does not have the freaking case. So that kind of sucks because here it is. We got Xenoblade Chronicles 3D for the 3DS. So this came in just one of these little, one of these little whatever cases. But I was hoping this one came with the case and manual. But guys, come on now. We spent fifty-three dollars and fifty cents, and I'll try to t um, I'll try to throw up the total value of everything we got on the screen. Like I said, I bought all of this stuff just so I could add this to the collection. We'll probably sell this stuff off. We might hold on to this game. I'm not sure yet. We might keep Xenoblade. But guys, I appreciate all of y'all. Thank you very much for tuning in. You guys have been tuning in on these Friday episodes now. We've been dropping Monday episodes. You guys keep tuning into those. Um, I've mentioned it before, but if you guys have any other future suggestions for like what I consider bonus content, like not the Friday game hunting episodes, we're kind of doing our own thing with that, but more so the bonus videos we drop on like Mondays. Y'all have any ideas for future videos? Drop that comment and let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Guys, until next time. Peace.